In today's video, we're gonna learn how to use the file upload feature in Wiz. Now, in this tutorial, we're gonna use Xano as our backend, but this same concepts apply to any REST API. All right, let's get started. The first thing we need to prepare is our Webflow project. And here we need to add a file input field. Now, unless you're paying for business hosting, you will not have access to this element over here. So you have an alternative and that is to create a custom embed. And it's actually pretty straightforward. So let me walk you through it. If we expand this embed here, we can see that we have a label tag and inside of it, we have this input tag. Now this input has type set to file and it has a WISD attribute. Now we set the WISD attribute to input upload button. Now what you need to make sure is that this for attribute is matching your input ID here. So these need to be the same. Okay, and now if you wanted to style this element, you can do the following. You can style the label and hide the input. So what we're going to do here is we're gonna add a button class to this element. This is a class that we already created in Webflow. So I'm gonna write here, button secondary. And this input I want to hide. So I'm gonna open a style tag and inside here I can just write some CSS. So here we're gonna select this element with the ID of input file. So let's just copy that. We can write here, ID of input file. And here we're gonna write our styles. So here we're gonna write display set to none. Perfect. And now if we save this, we can see that our input looks like a regular button. All right, now that our project is prepared, let's publish it and let's head over to WISD. So we can see that we have our element over here. And what we're going to do now is create a data out request. So we're gonna create a new request. We're gonna name it file upload. And here under app, we're gonna select file upload. Under authentication method, we're gonna select REST API because we're not using Firebase, Superbase, we're using a custom REST API. And here we have to specify the endpoint. Now this we can find in Xano. If we go to Xano, we can see that under API, we have a lot of endpoints, but we don't have file upload endpoint. So we have to add that. We can add a new API endpoint here. We're gonna choose upload content. And here, since we're not paying for Xano, we only have upload an image. We're gonna select that and we're gonna save it. And this is going to create an endpoint for us. Now we have to do a few modifications here. We have to change this input here from content to file because this is what WISD is using under the hood. And then we also have to make sure that in our function stack, we change this from content to file. You can see we have under input file and we're gonna save that. Now we're going to copy our endpoint URL and we're gonna head back to WISD. Here under API URL, now we have a URL, so we're gonna paste that in here. And under file, I'm going to select this input over here. So I'm gonna choose input, upload button, and we can see that we can already use this functionality. I can upload this logo over here and I can run this request and it's going to be successful. We get an object in return, but we still have to set up a trigger in the action. So we're gonna go to actions. Here, I'm gonna create a new action and I'm gonna call it upload file. I'm gonna apply it to this input over here. And under configuration, I'm gonna select on change because when the input value changes, we want to run our request. So we're gonna choose here, perform request. And here we're gonna choose file upload. Perfect. Now, if we refresh our canvas, we can use this functionality. But we are still not uploading that image to our database. If we wanted to do that, we have to do the following. Let's say in this create product request, we want to pass our image that we uploaded. So this is how we would do it. We can go to input here and here I already pre-filled those out, but we can see that we have this image field over here. Now this can either accept a URL of an image or in this case, what we want to do is choose file upload here and we want to send that whole 
object over here. So now if we try to upload a file, let's say this logo, we can see that we got an object inside of that field. We have it down here. And we can run our request and we can see that an object has been created. Now this is a new product that I just created. So if I refresh the canvas, we can see that our image has been successfully uploaded here. And this is how you can build a file upload feature for your app. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.